Have you ever wondered why we, Homo sapiens, are the only human species left? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? Our planet, just 50 to 100,000 years ago, was a bustling hub of diverse human species including us, the Homo sapiens, and our most well-known cousins, the Neanderthals. Contrary to the popular belief of them being simple-minded and brutish, recent research paints a different picture. The Neanderthals were intelligent, creative, and social beings who might have even had a complex language system. But here lies the crux of the mystery. Despite their intelligence and adaptability, the Neanderthals, along with other human species, vanished from the face of the Earth. The only survivors? Us, Homo sapiens. We're the sole inheritors of the legacy of human evolution, the only branch that didn't meet an untimely end. So, what happened to our extinct cousins? Let's dive deep into the story of our ancestors. Just 50,000 to 100,000 years ago, Earth was home to three or four separate human species. It's hard to imagine, isn't it? Sharing the world with different human species, each with their own unique traits and lifestyles. Among these were the Homo neanderthalensis, or as we commonly know them, the Neanderthals. Often portrayed as brutish and unintelligent, recent research paints a very different picture. Neanderthals were in fact quite sophisticated. They showcased impressive survival skills and had a profound understanding of their environment. They were masters of the Ice Age, adapting to harsh weather conditions that would make even the hardiest of us shudder. They were also highly creative. Their caves were adorned with symbolic engravings and they crafted intricate jewelry from eagle talons. Their tools were not just crude, basic implements but finely crafted pieces that were used for a variety of tasks. This creativity wasn't limited to their tools and art. Some evidence even suggests that Neanderthals may have had a complex language system just like us. Our extinct cousins were not just survivors and creators. They were also social beings. They cared for their sick and injured, demonstrating a level of empathy and community spirit that we often associate only with Homo sapiens. Their intelligence was on par with ours. They had larger brains than us and, while size isn't everything, it does indicate that they were capable of complex thought and problem solving. In many ways, they were not much different from us. They had the ability to adapt, to create, to communicate, and to care. They were capable of surviving in some of the most challenging environments on Earth. But if they were so similar to us, what led to their extinction? It's a question that has puzzled scientists for years. Why did these smart, creative, and adaptable beings disappear from the face of the Earth, leaving only us behind? As we dig deeper into the past, we hope to uncover the answers to these intriguing questions. As soon as Homo sapiens moved into Neanderthal territory, our cousins began to disappear. This mysterious vanishing act has puzzled scientists for decades, sparking a myriad of theories. One of the most widely accepted theories is that of competition for resources. With the arrival of Homo sapiens, the Neanderthals suddenly found themselves battling for the same food, shelter, and land. Homo sapiens, with their advanced tools and innovative hunting techniques, might have had the upper hand in this survival game. It's like showing up to a potluck only to find out someone else brought the same dish. But theirs is just a little tastier. Another theory suggests interbreeding played a significant role. Instead of picturing a world where Neanderthals and Homo sapiens lived separately, imagine one where they lived together, loved together, and had children together. Over time, the distinct Neanderthal lineage could have been absorbed into the Homo sapiens gene pool leading to their disappearance. If you've ever mixed two colors of Play-Doh together, you'll know that it's nearly impossible to separate them afterward. Finally, there's the disease hypothesis. Just as explorers from Europe introduced diseases to native populations in the Americas with devastating consequences, Homo sapiens might have carried with them diseases to which the Neanderthals had no immunity. You know how it feels when you catch a cold from a friend? Now, imagine that cold is a deadly unknown disease. In the end, it's likely that a combination of these factors led to the Neanderthals' downfall. It was not one single event but a domino effect of challenges that they could not overcome. And so over the span of a few thousand years the Neanderthals faded away, leaving Homo sapiens as the last human standing. But did they really disappear completely? While Neanderthals as a separate species are extinct, they are not entirely gone. It might sound like the opening line of a science fiction novel, but it's the startling truth. The echoes of our long-lost cousins persist not in fossils or archaeological artifacts but in our very DNA. It's a story that unfolds in the most intimate part of us. 
our genes. Modern science, with its ability to delve deep into the genetic code, has uncovered an intriguing narrative of ancient interbreeding. Yes, you heard it right. Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, different branches of the human family tree, crossed paths and, well, got a little familiar. This intermingling left an indelible mark. A small percentage of Neanderthal DNA persists in modern humans today, particularly in individuals of non-African descent. It's like a genetic postcard from the past, a reminder of our shared history and our shared planet. Now, this doesn't mean we're part caveman. Neanderthal DNA makes up only about 2% of the genome of people of non-African descent. But that tiny percentage has had a surprising impact. It's influenced everything from our immune system to our skin color, our susceptibility to certain diseases, even the shape of our noses. And while we're on the subject, let's dispel a myth. Neanderthals weren't the brutish, unintelligent cavemen we often picture. They were creative, smart, social, and perhaps even had complex language. They were, in every sense, human. So the next time you look in the mirror, remember this. You're not just looking at a homo sapien, you're looking at the product of millions of years of evolution, a tapestry woven from countless threads of human history. We are the children of a vast, interconnected family tree, a tree with many branches, some of which have sadly withered and died. But even though those branches are gone, their traces live on in us. So, in a way, we carry a piece of these extinct human species within us. We, Homo sapiens, stand as the last human species on Earth. But why? Why did we outlive our cousins on the human evolutionary tree? Well, the answer lies in our unique attributes, traits that set us apart and ultimately ensured our survival. Firstly, adaptability. Homo sapiens were unrivaled in their ability to adapt to different environments and climates. From the icy tundra to the scorching desert, we made every corner of the world our home. This adaptability extended beyond physical environments. Homo sapiens were also incredibly quick to adapt their behaviors, tools, and strategies in response to new challenges. Secondly, innovation. Homo sapiens were not just users of tools, but innovators. We constantly improved on existing tools, invented new ones, and even used tools to make other tools. This knack for innovation also manifested in our ability to exploit new and diverse food sources, a crucial advantage in times of scarcity. Lastly, our social structure. Homo sapiens lived in relatively large cooperative groups, a trait that still defines us today. These groups provided mutual protection, shared knowledge and a division of labor, making us more efficient and productive. Our ability to work together, to form alliances, and to care for one another increased our chances of survival in a world filled with danger and uncertainty. But let us not forget that we are not just survivors, but also carriers of a legacy. Recent studies have shown that many of us carry a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA, a testament to the interactions between our species thousands of years ago. We may not have Neanderthal neighbors today, but a part of them lives on in us. We may be the last human standing, but we carry the legacy of our extinct cousins within us. We are the descendants of an unbroken chain of survivors, stretching back millions of years. And as we look to the future, we carry not only the legacy of our ancestors, but also the responsibility to ensure the survival of our species. So why are we the only human species left? That's the question we've been exploring. We've seen how, just 50 to 100,000 years ago, our planet was a bustling hub of diverse human species. Our cousins, the Neanderthals, were not the brutish caricatures we often imagine. They were intelligent, creative, and possibly even had complex languages. Yet, they vanished upon our arrival in their territories. We've also delved into the traces of our past, discovering that remnants of these extinct species live on within us today. And we've looked at the various factors that have led to our survival while others perished. It's a complex tale of adaptation, competition, and perhaps a little luck. We are the sole survivors of the human evolutionary tree, but our journey has been shaped by the footprints of those who walked before us. We carry their legacy within us, a testament to the diverse and rich history of humankind.